Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. What we know is that employees often make mistakes. And when they make a mistake that costs them personally, then they get the mistake. When they make a mistake that costs the company, they don't always get the mistake because the attitude is, the company will pay for this, the company will look out for me, the company will provide for me, the company will support me, the company will provide me a lawyer, the company will, and the answer is no, they won't. You see, most states are at-will states, which means a company can fire you at will anytime they feel like it. If you fail your job, they can fire you. If you outperform yourself, they might not fire you. But if you're interfering with someone else's rights to make decisions with regard to legalities and laws around the company or around your employeeship, you better believe you're going to get a lawsuit. That lawsuit might come from me. That lawsuit could come from the government in form of a class action lawsuit for your discrimination. You see, we have a lot of people in a community, and some people are early risers, and some people stay up late. But everyone has the right to decide how they're going to live. You, on the other hand, have no right to presume that someone sitting outside your shop is going to do one thing other than report what they observe, tell what they feel, and speak about what they see. If you don't like it, then change the way you run your shop. Don't interfere with people's lives. This is the best motto you can do in your life to stay safe from lawsuits. Employees cause lawsuits major corporations lawsuits every year every year we learn something new about what a stupid employee did in their stupid bill and their overstepping of the boundaries of their position when employees overstep the boundaries of their position they usually are observed by more than just the person who experienced the overstepping of boundaries they're usually experienced or they're usually observed by some other person in the community so that they have a witness to say these employees are out of line these employees are not doing fine these employees are harming people with their ideologies that are not normal to anything in the world people who live in a small-minded world do not regard people who live in a large-minded world people who want to play that they know people when they never personally met them can read lawsuits for their companies the lawsuit from a company comes usually from gossip, cybercrime, or identity theft. Are you that person? Do you have the right to talk about that person's life? Do you technically have any relationship at all with that person? And if you don't, stay out of it. Stay out of their life. If you have no relationship whatsoever, meaning you've never met them, you've never personally served them, then stay out of it. You cannot possibly imagine the type of lawsuits you could experience when you start to play God in people's lives from a distance. God serves people from a distance. God looks down from heaven. God gives people lessons. God did not make you God to give people your lessons in life. Your lessons in life say, I regard all people because I want all people to regard my life. You see, the disruption and violence at the Capitol and January 6th that has gone into the world is no different than January, or excuse me, September 11th. September 11th was a whole bunch of people from another nation making a decision that they were going to harm our country. We don't need people like you participating in things like 9-11 in just a small and modest way. The minute you try to police people that you don't have the right to police, you cause your life a lawsuit. A company can turn around and sue you for the marketing disparity that you caused, for the gossip that you provided to someone who had no right to hear it, no right to experience it, and no right to listen to you.